During the fall of 2010, the fall after the spill, I watched a lot of TV news. I watched President Obama take a very public swim, after which a friend from the Gulf wrote me, he might as well have put on a flight suit and given a thumbs up, mission accomplished. I read about how oil-eating microbes had evolved to clean up the Gulf in the nick of time, and I nodded but thought of scrubbing bubbles and wondered if a new breed of microbes was really such a good thing. Then one night I heard Diane Sawyer interview Billy Nungesser, the Plaquemines Parish president who I'd met in the Gulf. When Billy tried to explain that the beaches weren't as clean as being reported, Sawyer raised an eyebrow. Are you suggesting that BP is covering up what happened to the oil? What a nut, she all but mouthed to the camera. But when I returned to the Gulf in late October, I found a different sort of news, a different story. I camped at Fort Pickens National Seashore, near a bush that bloomed with monarch butterflies. The butterflies were in the midst of a generational migration to Mexico, and they pointed toward the fragility of migration, the necessity of small connections to support trips of enormous risk and distance. The idea of these monarchs making such a trip sounded like a child's fairy tale, like being told that a piece of tissue would rise from your bedside Kleenex box and fly a thousand miles. On the beaches, I discovered that little had changed. I found a crew of workers who were down on their knees, picking at the scarp line, like a group of determined badgers. I asked their supervisor if there was oil under the sand. I know there is, she said. I was here when we took core samples the other day. There are great tar mats down there. They look like vanilla swirl ice cream. Later in the day, I talked to another supervisor, off the record, of course, who said, I make good money here, but sometimes I wonder, are they really trying to clean this up or is it just a dog and pony show? Is this a cleanup or a cover up? Farther down the beach, I came upon a man surf casting for mullet. At first, he waxed rhapsodic about the fish and the weather, and I thought, Finally, someone not affected by the spill. But then he turned the pockets of his shorts inside out and showed me the brown lining. Of course, they sprayed the crap out of everything here, he said. It's not as clean as it looks. He explained that he kept fleas for bait in his pockets and had been doing it for years, but the fleas had never stained his pockets before. I found more evidence of a stain world when I traveled on to Buras, Louisiana. I stayed, as I had during the spill, at Ryan Lambert's Cajun Adventures Fishing Lodge. At that point, the shrimping season had finally opened, despite the objections of some shrimpers and reports of tarballs in the nets. Never mind. A cry of Ali Ali income free had gone up, everyone back in the water. Ryan Lambert brought me back behind his lodge to the fish scaling tables. He showed me why it wasn't such a good idea to open up shrimping. He held up a shrimp and its gills were black. It was a startling sight. All fall long I had been listening to newscasters and reading papers as they told me their story of the Gulf. But that night I listened to Ryan's story. And I looked at the gills, you know, I could see the black inside of this. It's not right. I don't know what it is, but it's not right. But sure enough, I got a call this morning and another, another experienced guy Call, I said, yeah, it's clean 100 pounds of shrimp, yes, and I think I'm hypersensitive right now, but I said, let me tell you what happened. He said, the gills were black. That's right. I said, it's not you and it's not me, and I'm glad, because, you know, I try to be as open-minded about all this to, to make sure that I don't overstep and accuse someone of something that they didn't do, but things are not right here. I know what things are all right and wrong here because I've been here so long. You know, I live outside. I know when it's going to rain. I know when it's not. I know everything about what happens outside, and it's not right.